All right, guys, so for this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the changes that are going to be coming to the Galactic Command System in patch 5.1, which is coming in January 23rd or 24th. I don't remember, but either way, it's late January. Uh, now, this video is just going to be a recap of the latest dev stream that happened just today. And um, that stream is like over 20, 30 minutes long. So I thought I'd do a really concise recap, just focusing on the Galactic Command changes. Now, these are very important changes because it's really dealing with some of the major problems the community has been having. Now, in my opinion, these changes do not entirely fix the system. The system is still very much grindy and broken, yet it makes it a little bit better. So the two main things that they tried to address was number one, the community was having a problem with the fact that we cannot work towards a specific slot of gear. So for example, if I open 100 command crates and I just don't get the higher level version of the helmet, well, I have under the current system, I have to just keep earning command crates and hope that the RNG is with me. However, they're going to implement a system by which I can work towards a specific slot of gear and I don't have to just keep hoping on command crate drops. Secondly, they wanted to deal with the fact that gearing other characters takes way too long. So for example, if I gear up my main, well then, I, what, I have to go through 300 levels of Galactic Command to gear up my alt? That just doesn't make any sense, so they're going to deal with that. Alright, so in terms of what they're doing, they focus on both PvE community and PvP community. So let's start with the PvE community. Your main source of getting good gear will be through operations. Now, each operation boss will drop an unassembled gear piece. Now, for those of you who are familiar with this, this is very similar to what we had prior to patch 5.0. We had the bosses drop these unassembled gear pieces. And what you could do is you could go to a vendor and let's say I got the unassembled gear piece for the boots. Well, then I could go and trade that in kind of like a token and get the high level boots for myself. Well, this is going to work very similarly where you will use unassembled gear pieces and you will use them with command tokens. And then together using both of those currencies, you can get higher level end game gear. Uh, for those of you who wonder what command tokens are, they are simply drops from command crates. Now there's no RNG element to this. You will get, I assume, one command token per crate. Uh, they haven't specified how many, but I think it's going to be one. Uh, now these will work retroactively because this patch is coming in 5.1. So they want, they want to make sure that the command crates you earn from now until that patch still are, are useful to you. And so let's say for example, I earn 100 command crates. Well, when patch 5.1 hits, I will automatically get 100 command tokens. So still continue to earn command crates because it's going to be worth it. Secondly, these command tokens will be legacy wide. So you will be able to combine the command tokens you earn on your main with your other alts. And so that's where they're kind of dealing with that issue of it takes too long to gear your other players. Now, um, there is still an element of RNG when it comes to these unassembled gear drops. Uh, because these unassembled gear pieces, you know, when, a, when an operation boss drops one of these, it's not kind of guaranteed which one it's going to be. So here's how they're dealing with that. Firstly, every single boss in an operation until the last boss will drop a random unassembled gear piece. So you don't know whether it's going to be the boots or the helmets or the gloves. Also, on top of that, they're all, the, each boss is only going to drop like two. So in a eight man operation, um, you know, you're gonna have to roll for it and kind of hope that you get that piece. However, the last boss in an operation will drop a guaranteed unassembled gear piece. So for example, the last boss in Karaga's palace might drop the unassembled gear piece for the helmet. Then the Revan from Temple of Sacrifice might drop the upper body armor, but it will always be guaranteed. So the point of this is, for example, if I'm hunting the helmet, then I know that I have to run Karaga's palace because when I reach the last boss, he will drop the helmet for the unassembled gear piece. And I'm, that's what I'm going to be hunting for. For someone hunting for the upper body armor, they know they have to do Temple of Sacrifice. So in that way, they're kind of eliminating the RNG and they're like, you know, this boss is going to drop this. So keep trying to farm that boss. All right, so that deals with the unassembled gear pieces from operations. One other quick thing is in terms of the level of the gear, keep in mind there's three levels with Galactic Command. There's tier one, tier two, and tier three gear. And that's just gonna uh, be dependent upon which difficulty you're doing in operation. So story difficulty will be tier one gear, veteran difficulty will drop tier two gear, and master difficulty will drop tier three gear. So in this way, guys, Operation Bosses are once again not just giving you Galactic, uh, C Galactic Command CXP, they're also now giving you tokens which you can use to get good gear. That's kind of the gist of it. But going on into PvP. Um, now, with PvP, when you complete War Zones, you will earn unassembled components. 
then you will use unassembled components to get yourself the unassembled gear pieces. So there's kind of this extra element to it. Uh, then the unassembled gear pieces along with the command tokens that you get from command crates can be used to purchase tier gear at the vendor. So it's the exact same as operations in that sense. It's just that when you complete war zones, you're now getting these unassembled components. So there's one extra step to it. Um, your, the amount of unassembled components you earned will be based upon how many medals you earned in that war zone and the match outcome. So whether you won or lost. So it's very similar to uh, CXP. However, you will not earn anything from Galactic Starfighter. So it's only PvP war zones. One other thing to note, guys, is there will be a Valor requirement on the vendor where you buy the unassembled gear pieces. So that means you need to be an active PvPer. You can't just be doing a few war zones, getting these unassembled components, and then getting yourself the gear. You do need to have a pretty high Valor requirement. They haven't released any numbers yet. Another thing to keep in mind is they're once again reverting a little bit to the previous system, where you have to buy the lower level PvP gear before you can get the higher level PvP gear. So for example, I need to buy the tier 1 PvP gear first, and then I will trade in the tier 1 PvP gear for tier 2 PvP gear. It's very similar to when you had the uh, basic PvP uh, gear and then you had ranked pvp gear prior to patch 5.0 and so you needed to buy the basic pvp gear first and then turn that in to get the ranked pvp gear um so basically that means you can't jump ahead and just get the best gear right at the start no matter how many components you have or how many unassembled gear pieces you have now unfortunately these unassembled components will not be legacy wide so if you're doing a war zone you need to do it on the character that you want to earn the gear on these unassembled gear components won't be legacy wide as well. So in that sense, it's still very much grindy for your alts because uh, you need to be doing this continually on your alts, but the command tokens at least will be legacy wide. Anyways, for players that don't do operations or PVP, uh, but you're still getting command tokens or command crates, well, they're gonna give you a way by which you can spend them. So basically they're gonna be vanity items or something. So you can buy cool stuff with them as well. But anyways, those kind of um, are the changes that are coming to Galactic Command, which patch 5.1. I had very high hopes for this live stream. I want to say they did not disappoint. Their changes do make the system a little bit better. But in my opinion, the system is still very much broken. Uh, it doesn't really make the whole situation better. I still feel like it's way too grindy, but, uh, but it did improve the situation a little bit. So at least I'm happy on that front. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, if you guys have any questions with how I explained anything, please leave it in the comment section. I will try my hardest to answer them all. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found it informative and I will see you in the next one.